What's going on ladies and babies, this is the official guide on how to use autotune properly on any DAW, FL Studio, Audacity, you name it. Cause let's keep it real, 90% of you guys' vocals suck bongo dick. These people think they're Mariah Carey when they're actually Ice JJ Fish, you hate to see it. I can already tell the majority of you guys are, you know, the typical SoundCloud rappers, and no disrespect, right, but the kids at school, you know, they bullying you, they're like, why? Why do you sound like Lil Pump? Why why you sound like Smoke Perp, bro? Why are you crying? <laughs> that's why I'm here, right? I'm the plug. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like this. It's free. You can change your mind whenever you want. Alright, so we're in the lab right here, and I'm gonna obviously be talking about some free auto-tunes plugins you can be using. Mainly this uh, stock plugin on FL Pitcher, right? Which is the easiest way you can use it. However, there is another free one that I don't have it on FL, but I do have it on audacity right here but first just to give you a general idea of auto-tune i'm gonna show it to you on this one which is a paid auto-tune i got it from one of my boys shout out so royal um but let's get right into it right so auto-tune there are three main things you need to be focusing on right retune speed humanize and the key of your song right First of all, if you don't know the key of your song, I mean, what are you doing, man? It's the it's the most basic music theory you need to learn, right? But if you don't actually know what key it's in, um, there are a couple things you can do. There's a plugin that comes with this auto tune that I actually really like called Auto Key, which basically this it listens to the uh, song. Oh my God, video. And it finds what key it's in, right? So A minor. So in that case. We would go over here and we would change it to a minor, right? Um, this input site, it's it's really optional. It doesn't change it that much, but it lets you choose um, what type of thing is being auto-tuned, whether it's soprano, which is like the really high-pitched vocals. Alto is also pretty high, but then there's low male, and these are like the instrument or like a bass instrument. Uh, but usually I keep it at like alto tenor because that's my range, but regardless. Now let's get into like the main main thing, which is the retune speed and the humanize. And for that, I'm actually going to turn on uh, my mic here so you can hear how it sounds. To give you a general idea of what these two things are, retune speed sets the rate at which the input audio is moved to the target pitches, basically the speed of how quickly it corrects your vocals. And usually the quicker it corrects your vocals, the more robotic it sounds, which gives you a bit of like a T-Pain, you know, an auto-tune rapper sound. Um, meanwhile, Humanize adds realism to the sustained note at a higher retune speed. It'll make your voice sound as human as, as it possibly can, right? So if I were to put everything at zero, this is the most robotic it sounds. And if you want to not be made fun of by kids in your school, you should probably not have it like this, because this is how you'll sound. I am in the middle of my seat. I am in the middle of my seat. I am in the middle of my seat. I got you beat to myself. Unless this is intentionally the kind of sound you're going for, let's keep it a buck fifty. If you're trying to be seen as somebody that's able to like sing properly, this is not gonna help your case, right? However, some people enjoy that sound, and it works for people who are trying to have that kind of sound. However, if you want to sound much more human, I would recommend having the retune speed quite lower, as well as cranking up the the human eyes. Ah, he ba da 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 da. You see what I mean? It still sounds auto-tune. If you wanted to, you know, fix it up a little bit, you would probably lower it even more, raise this even more. But, I mean, regardless, that's how it usually goes, right? Now, an option that really every auto-tune here has, like I'll show you. Over here on Pitcher, it has it too. And on this one, which is the one most, the, the free one that most people use, uh, it has it over here as well. This is called form and shifting. And what it basically does is it either raises or lowers uh, the pitch of your voice while keeping the same note. Because most times if you're trying to raise the pitch of something, it'll change the note of it as well while this keeps your note. So for instance, if we were to go over here, 100 is, you know, no effects change. However, if you wanted to lower it, for instance, you would do this. And if you want to make your vocals higher sounding, you do this. This is but yeah, I mean, like, this is basically another effect that's added in, in really all of these auto tunes. You can do it over here, boom, boom, right? And you can do it over here, which gives you the visual thing of okay, woman, higher pitched voice, uh, men, lower pitched voice. 
And lastly, we're going to be talking about one more thing called New Tone, right? And basically, it is a manual version of Auto Tune. So, manual tune. Ha! <laughs> How do you do that? Well, if you already have a recorded thing, so for instance, an easy way to start this is you double click on the file. Why won't they talk to me? And then you go over here, right click, oh, edit in pitch corrector. You have it right here, right? So it shows like where it rises from. It, let's just hear it how it is. Why won't they talk to me? It, it definitely sounds weird. Let me preface this. This is a video for dummies, and I, I barely use this. <laughs> I barely use auto-tune regardless. <laughs> the, the way you basically use this is you can drag it to wherever you want. So, like... So this is how it sounds without the new tone. Why won't they talk to me? I think it's pretty good. However, I think this is better. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Why won't they talk to me? <laughs> Obviously, this isn't how you're supposed to use this. Um, but, I mean, it is cool that you can essentially choose what note you hit. If you hit a bad note, you can, you know, correct it too. So, if we, what if we went from the lowest note? Alright, that's the lowest note that, like, sounds good. If you're slightly off the key that it says you are on, it'll correct it. So, that's why it sounds like this. Wow! they talk to me for instance the e did this thing e e anyway hopefully this has been helpful to you most of you are probably going to be using the auto tune and not the manual tune which is perfectly fine i just wanted to include it even though i sounded extremely just fucking stupid but thank you so much for watching if you're interested i have a song out which i didn't use any auto tune <laughs> A loser. If you're into Tame Impala and just that alternative style, I think you would enjoy it. The link is in the description. It's on the card, etc. Et Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. I have a lot of videos about sounding like different rappers and stuff like that that I think you'll enjoy. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, peace.